We're here at Purdue University to talk about for every force, there's usually an equal and opposite force pushing the other way. So, for instance, if I push against this wall with my feet, the wall pushes back on me, and I can use that to shoot myself down the hallway. We don't even need a wall to push against. I can push against this medicine ball and throw it that way, and it'll push back at me, and I'll go that way. And this is a lot like how a jet engine works. It actually grabs air and throws it backwards, and that would push an airplane forward. So if I throw this hard enough, I should go backwards. But it's pretty tricky. And I'm traveling backwards at the speed of almost nothing. This doesn't just work with heavy things. We can take lots and lots of light things and throw them really fast, and they should push back on me as I push forward on them, and I should still fly backwards. Unfortunately, the question becomes, can I throw them fast enough, or basically push on them hard enough to make myself go backwards? And they're pretty light, so maybe not. But let's give it a try. Here we go. Ow. Ready? Yes! We can now throw even smaller things. We've got a tank of carbon dioxide gas here. And if we let it out, it's speeding out that way. And so it has to be put, it's being pushed out that way. And so since it's pushed out that way, there has to be a force pushing back on us in order to throw it. And so if I throw basically lots and lots of tiny molecules of carbon dioxide, I can go backwards really fast like a jet engine. I just have to throw them faster. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woohoo! And we're gone. The end.